There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. God, you find yourself shackled in an abandoned bathroom in the middle of a abandoned hospital. <laughs> Holy hell, all of a sudden, it's Fat Jigsaw! Oh my uh, god! No! Do you want to eat some pizza? <laughs> Fat Jigsaw's here. Do you want to uh, eat some pie? Uh, oh man, I just gotta I'm trying to saw my hand off here so I can escape from Fat Jigsaw! <laughs> Call walk slower. I'm riding a, a tricycle. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the last stream, Ben Marcus. It's Henry. Halloween, you fucking pieces of shit. Woo! Play off this fucking first song, man. I've been rocking to this all week. Bro, I love this one. Man, so we've seen Spider-Man, we've seen Jigsaw, and what was the last one? Oh, Blow Body doll. Suit. <laughs> Johnny thankfully died at just the right time. We would not want to know Johnny Ramon's opinions in the last six years. That would that's would not what we all yeah. kinds of problems. We really hey, man. don't, man. It would have been fun to see his big, tall, goofy ass at the Capitol pissing on Pelosi's desk or something. Just be like, because <laughs> well, no. Tommy was the he. Which one was he? Was he the? No, Tommy was the drummer. Tom, the, Tommy was, was the, the original drummer. Uh, you're th are you thinking of DD? DD was the bassist. DD is a good one. Bunch of the songs. DD was great. DD was the one that uh, eventually tried becoming a rapper in like what? the mid to late yes, 80s. Yes, I remember yeah, this. DD King. Go? Yeah. Bad. It was so bad. It was funk, uh, <laughs> Funky Man was his song, and the chorus was funky. Over and over again. Uh, his raps were fucking terrible. Who was terrible. better? He or Paul sense, Bernardo? Though. I've been listening to now. Didi. I've been listening to yes. the uh, Paul Bernardo raps. And uh, wow. They are something. They he really is, are. Uh, he had a lot of confidence, which is, uh, I don't know where it comes from, especially with someone who has had, he had no talent and he had no positive validation in any way, oh, shape, yeah. or form towards his talent. No yeah. one said to Paul, hey, we love your flow. <laughs> like, no one once encouraged him. Everybody yep. said it was stupid. Even Carlo was like, oh, I thought if we could just stop, let's get back to the rape. That's where you're best. <laughs> and that's yeah. where they knew it. She, she packaged him. Well, yeah. apparently, according to uh, Clairvoyant, pretty popular website, uh, it was universally reviled. Uh, mm, D.D. King's uh, rap album? Yeah, and uh, oh, they yeah. said... The album was described as like nothing you've ever heard before, but like in a bad Sometimes way. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes yeah. that's bad. It's a bizarre yeah. artifact of uh, both hip hop and punk at the same time. It, yeah, he had a song insane. about he had a male he had a song about male prostitution in Vietnam, and the album finds. Well, that was fifty third and third. That was a uh, Ramon song. Oh, that was commotion yeah. in the ocean. <laughs> yes. I'm okay. um, speaking well, of commotion in the ocean. This next video is probably what's causing some unrest down the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh my, the bloop. <laughs> I got to check right. it. <laughs> <laughs> <That is. laughs> well, the land before time. I guess they all grew up and just like us now. Is that you the know, part is that the part that we heard on the business call earlier today? Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 when I was going through my videos. <laughs> now, you see here, the, it, the fart clouds obscure what is the actual most puzzling part of the, of the dinosaur, which is, look how thoroughly that asshole is rendered. Like, the asshole's like, <laughs> obviously someone has made this thing, wrote, he drew yeah. that erotically, thinking yeah. of wanting to fuck it. Yeah, oh, definitely. It kind of looks like Littlefoot erotica with the big balls, so you could almost put your balls on top of that ball and have a yeah. ball arrester. That is Littlefoot. That is Littlefoot, yeah. Is, is, mm -hmm. is the butthole, uh, is that rendered or is that photoshopped? Because it looks pretty, it looks pretty realistic. It's a real butthole. I, I, actually, a real butthole. I don't know if I can get close enough. I think it's a to, to see. I think it's a real butthole at the end of a gape while as it's constricting again. Hey, man, it's amazing what's capable of what we're all capable of. <laughs> the human body we we contain multitudes. Yeah. So this is the now, whole this video. video is two. This video is maybe two to three minutes long. Okay, wow. well, that's 
That's and it's been going for a like minute, honestly. It okay. keeps going. It doesn't change. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a reasonable actually... masturbation time, though. Two to three minutes. Oh, you Man, you need 15 this. This seconds calm to come. <laughs> this is calm down uh, stuff here. This is like from that calm app. Yeah. Imagine this was the calm app. You just get it. And they're like, you want to see this video? Honestly, Imagine... I just feel like... If, uh... no, well, that was a fight. No, I actually think we're getting up to a grand finale here, to be honest with you. Is it I weird that the, the, the balls look comfortable? Yeah, yeah, they look cozy. They do. You want to put your head like, on them? Yeah. Put your nose in there. Like you want to fluff them up. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I bet you they'd be really uncomfortable for the dinosaur. Eventually. Oh, I don't think so. I think sitting on his balls the way that they're sitting on it. No, they, they're dinosaurs. They have hard ball skin. I don't think but dinosaurs, did they have out-of-the-body testicles? Hanging I testicles? Fucking know. I don't know. I think they were reptiles. I don't think they had testicles. No. Yeah, man, this keeps going, guys. <laughs> this keeps going. <laughs> We can cut to the next video. The we can cut part. this video. No, 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 no. no. I'm, you want to experience all of it? I, I'm, I, I'm sitting in it, man. Oh, See, I like that because it did. Because now. now it's coming out as more of a stream instead of a cloud. You know what? Is, you know what this is doing? It's changing. Yeah. You know what this is about, Marcus? What? It's that you have more patience due to all the drone music <laughs> you've been listening to because of the Velvet Underground series. Oh yeah. So now you're starting to understand that if you just sit and listen to something for about 15 minutes. Yeah, it reveals itself to you. You can see different the tapestries and mm -hmm. what ebbs and flows. The textures. You can't really appreciate the piece until the piece is over, and you can look back on it and reflect. Yes. Yeah, well, you know what? Paleontologists have never actually found fossilized T-Rex nuts. No? And like crocodiles, their testicles actually change in size during breeding season. Big dinosaurs probably had pretty big nuts. I want my tax dollars back. Look at this. It's changed color. It changed color. Wow. See? And see? we wouldn't have we, been able to see that. We would have missed it. And now it's multicolored. And now Happy it's going July back to green. July 4th, everyone. That's uh, great. He yeah, this is great, man. Halloween. Now he's going back to it. Well, honestly, I hope I have a better video after this. Yeah. Well, this is according to hmm. Borth. He's a paleontologist. Mm -hmm. He said big dinosaurs probably had pretty big balls because they were big, but they were. But the, then there's a lot of variation. That man's. Oh a yeah, sure. He says testes. I say balls. This yeah. is my thing. Is that I thought lizards. They had them. And reptiles, the testicles were up inside of them. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But uh, dinosaurs are more closely related to birds, aren't they? But birds don't that's have. What they dicks. say it would look like. Whoa. Huh. Pair of nuts. Oh, we'll That's actually really... be getting into, in the next episode of uh, Paul Bernardo and Carla Homolka, we will actually be getting into lizard testicles. Not going to spoil oh. it for everyone. Don't spoil it. You're going to have to listen. You have to listen to see. But yeah, we're going to be know. getting into get the world of lizard testicles. Well, we found yeah. a lot well, of... Well, then actually, some people have gone forward and said that technically that was a dragon. So, <sighs> a dragon can have testicles, um, but I've never seen a dragon's pussy. Yeah, a dragon but I know is a for... dinosaur. Isn't a dragon a dinosaur? I'm not going to live in a world where a dragon isn't classified as a dinosaur. I actually I would... don't know. I, will I don't think... know. I think a dragon is, is technically classified as a wyvern. A wyvern? Hmm. What the hell's a or wyvern? Or is a wyvern a different kind of dragon? What are you talking hey, man. about? We don't need to get laid on this show, man. We've got <laughs> wyverns. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> wyverns, bro. Can... And so to celebrate a little bit more halloween i just wanted to just play some random ass scenes for fucking hellraiser because i fucking found these last night so this is oh, the bro, end of hellraiser so cool. 2 oh, fuck this is yeah, just bro. the end of hellraiser 2 i decided oh, to play this is just the best it's the coolest i could have done without that some more btk is just coming <laughs> oh god these are so yes. cool you'll look safer film set then you know what oh, that noise Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Everyone's saying Game of Thrones dragons didn't have the uh, the visible nuts on them. No, they didn't. Game of Thrones was full of lies. It was just a it was just an excuse for the directors to see boobs. It was a cash grab. I love her. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that advice. one goes down. Yeah. Yeah, my boy. Chatterer is my fucking boy. Oh man, I love tube head. Horrible Airbnb. <laughs> it's too much. They see it was a boy. Oh, you see it? It was a, oh, it was a boy. fucking boy. I'm taking over this operation, and you girls will be my first. 
Yeah! He's got hand pussies! <laughs> this is where... This is where... This is where you see the origin! Yes. Because he gets zapped oh, and And then all of a sudden you see that he's not scary at all! No, <laughs> he is this bald man! Yeah, that his name is Doug. Yep, this is the, this is when Pinhead turns to Doug. <laughs> he was in the British military, though, so they know how to use bayonets. They do. Christopher Lee famously explains all of the people on Lord of the Rings how to actually kill. <laughs> yes! Whoa! Oh, poor Pinhead. Yes, he did kill quite a few people. He's fine. He comes back in three. Oh, uh, yeah. They get that like uh, fucking Cinnabite that shoots the CDs out of his mouth. Yeah. Sorry, Deanna, if you're gonna watch Hellraiser 2, this is how it ends. Yeah. I mean, you can honestly goes. watch it, though. It's well worth Hell, it. It's, this is not, it's not about the plot. No, Hellraiser oh. 2 is about the journey. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's about walking through hell, trying to find your father's soul. Yeah, yeah. it's not about the plot. It's just continuating, continuing, Hell, continuing Hellraiser 1, which is actually even more like, like a sexual thriller. Yeah. yeah more than it even is a horror film. Clive oh, yeah. Barker is a funny guy. I don't know what to make of him sometimes, but I think he, he's good. I was reading the intro to his Books of Blood because I, I, I have, I was reading, I love his short stories. I read short stories at night because he <laughs> calms me down. That's but I was listening to, I was reading Clive Barker saying, and it, it is really funny because Stephen King said the same thing, same thing where they're both like, I hate Halloween because <laughs> every single person in my periphery is like, so what you doing <laughs> and he's just like sometimes halloween i just want to not do anything sometimes yeah, i don't well, want to do anything that's not right clive I know. Okay. sometimes it's i don't hard. want to do anything i'm into i'm into it i know what they mean you gotta See, go I still out feel on like, halloween or at least you, hang out with friends and family you gotta spread the love man halloween's gotta be you gotta hold the torch for all the people that marcus have ganged Wilson, up on halloween what was your best halloween costume marcus my best Halloween, my best Halloween costume was a Freddy Krueger uh, costume that I put together when I was like nine or ten uh, through like a <laughs> store bought kit. Uh, like I got the store, I did all my makeup and all that, uh, and scared the piss out of this old lady. Hell it yeah, great! Right. Yeah, she. It was. I've never seen an old lady like she opened the door, gave me candy, but was shaking the entire time and uh, refused to speak. It was great. That was awesome. by far my favorite. It was like a tiny little Freddy. I was like, That's this so cute. Yeah. I, 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 still, I still have the uh, the hand, the glove that I wore uh, that had the plastic uh, claws on it. Um, Hell yeah, bro. I wore my dad's hat. It was too big for me. A big sweater. It was great. The, I That's finally great got all style. my animatronics. Like, all, like, last night I wanted to do a trial run, right? So I got a bunch of animatronics out front, and I turned them all on. Mm -hmm. And then I ordered food again. <laughs> right? Like, I was waiting for the guy to come, right? I scared the fucking shit out of this guy. I went out <laughs> there waiting nice. to see dude. He scared me. I, that was so fucking sweet. I love to put a little fright. You fright in your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should be careful, buddy. I wouldn't scare all of the food delivery drivers. You're going to find they yourself. Keep <laughs> yeah. They keep coming. They keep fucking coming. Flag. Cops. Like, yes. He orders a lot Send of Send more cops. <laughs> Oh, so right here, need a partner to join me for last podcast left, last podcast and left live, Charlotte, North Carolina. Extra VIP tickets. Give it up for Whitney Myers. Come on, get, get it up there. Oh, Come on, join this one. Let, let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all a question about uh, Hellraiser. How far? Like, cause do y'all do um, like horror movie like franchise marathons where you're watch like a whole? How far do you make it into? Do you make it past Bloodlines? No, we can't. We can't make it past Bloodlines. Don't. I don't. Get there's no pinhead. reason. No fat, fat pinhead. Fat pinhead because it's great. not fat enough. <laughs> so he's just not in shape. Pin. Well, he is in shape, but um, I tend to actually kind of browse over three. No, three is fun. Three's okay. Three's got its moments. Well, three Wait till you see it. There might be one, a right? moment from three, yeah, three up ahead. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Now, Bloodlines is fucking amazing. That's one of the best ones. I love ones. Bloodlines. Yeah, I've been got, watching through it. This year we're doing the Halloween franchise, so we're watching all the Halloweens and going through all. Of them. Nice. Halloween two, Rob Zombie's Halloween two is now on streaming again. Hell yeah! All right. Um. All right. All so right, this Jason, video. What do we got here? All right. So you're ready to move on. I see. You're ready to move on. No, I'm not ready to move on. You want to keep it? What else is on streaming? What else is streaming? What else is streaming? And honestly, this the, I'm <laughs> really is glad that you're ready. Streaming. <laughs> this one's Bake Off is streaming. This one comes from. Can we just talk about what's streaming? 
<laughs> this comes from this talking about streaming honestly is a great segue yeah this looks brother like a jar sage, of fish. it is <laughs> a man named brother sage has found the way to eternal life and the one way you do it is that you have to he says health comes from within right oh, no so I'm here we go let's show a little bit of how brother sage has decided to what he has to he called this he charges his sumpumpha what's that mean piss he means he <laughs> leaves his piss out He's got go. one of those, those interested in a right. new way to charge your shivambu <laughs> your aged orin try this sometime get a pyramid dangle a crystal from the apex of the pyramid and let the energy of the crystal and the pyramid power charge 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 he's on holy water so i wanted you to see what i'm doing here tonight Thank you. Tonight, tonight. Tonight. all night and let the vibration and the charge of the oh, orange be magnified and drank and washed with and enjoyed and so you hear the word term gone. washed with and so drink. so drinks it anybody else try this washes out? with Let it. me know brother sage the author of healing water from within coming this week on amazon <laughs> Healing water from within. From within. That's, that's fucking what that's, awesome. That's his, right? And, and he really works on this. But the thing is that drinking it's not enough for him. What he has discovered that there are other processes that you can go through that bring the health into you even faster and harder and better. And, and this is one of the ways. This is what he decided. Piss, you go through like, what is it, like 50 gallons during an average five minute shower or something? Yeah, how you can't. It requires way too much piss. You'll see. Hey, guys. Wow. And I understand drinking through the nose, whether it's urine, water, or anything else, may be a little bit tricky for people, may be a little bit difficult. And you can either use the cup method and pour your shibambo in your cup and drink it this way. Think about Samuel that. Samuel Cohen teaches, or Dr. Roz Hansen teaches. Or you can Who's invest a dollar ninety nine. Doctor Ross, and get one of these saline solution, saline enema disposable bottles. Throw out the stuff they make in it, clean it out, and put in your shivamu. And unless you're really gutsy to drink it with the cup method, you may want to try this. It takes a little Throw bit it. getting used to. It's shivamu. Oh God. So he's just squirting straight up piss like into the back of his fucking skull. Why? Right? Why? I don't Why know. Why is he doing it? I don't Henry, know. What is happening? He says it's for himself. <laughs> it's all piss. Yeah, he's got a shivamba. Oh yeah, he's got the music also. Oh, kind your of falls out. Yeah, it's not your good, dude. Recalcify, not calcify, but uncalcify, decalcify. What and are you talking about? And find a way about? to get that important uh, nutrient-dense uh, distilled water, ultra-filtered blood plasma known as uh, shibambu, uh, up into your nutrient-dense water. Clear it out. So you may want to try that. It's called a saline anima. I got mine at Walgreens for a dollar seventy-nine. Great. So Plus try that tax. method. It looks a little funny the way I showed it, but you get the idea. The sniffing. See, you get the yeah, idea. I do. Awful. I God, it's we... awful to fucking imagine sniffing piss into your fucking nose. Ah. He really thinks is. he thinks he's lost his way. His name's Brother Sage. So he does all of this. This is very like thorough. Like he is there's several, I guess, celebrities that are also obsessed with this idea that when you piss. You piss out waste, but you also piss out essential nutrients. Yeah, but we're so not you have to consume to the piss again in the middle of the freaking Amazon with no other options for liquid. <laughs> yeah, I think you're I mean, incorrect. I found uh, this is a urine therapy group. There, I yep. found a, uh, a an article in Denver out of the. It's by the Denver Channel Seven, ABC. Um, they did a whole story on these people. The headline is a urine therapy group in Colorado touts the benefits of drinking your own pee. Doctors disagree. Doctors disagree because no, they are cool. fucking cocks that are purchased by guess what? Big, Big poop. Big poop. No, Big poop. 
because wow. they are the ones that are all saying, how many doctors have I said? I go into the doctor and they're all like, so you've been eating your shit lately? And I go like, no, I have. I know I'm supposed <laughs> to start. I haven't done it yet. And they're like, got to start eating one lump of your fucking fetid shit each morning. Make sure that you leave it out, too, because yeah. that's how you really build the energy is by oh, le- like leaving it out, letting it sit. Oh, my God. One doctor said it's entirely possible to get chlamydia or gonorrhea of the mouth from drinking someone's urine if they have those diseases. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you wait until I come up here all garbled next week. Be like, I'm a hammer. <laughs> well, do they well, say not... apparently they're not supposed to piss? They're not supposed to drink their own piss unless they are like super, super healthy, mm. yeah, right? Like so, they super healthy. I don't mentally. It's I think piss. It's, yeah, I mean it's fun. You have a little fun with it every now and again, I guess. But yeah, I, I mean, know. yeah, I mean, piss outside of you sure. makes sense, kind of, right? Yeah. Like if you're gonna get piss on your legs, you're gonna get piss in your hair. <laughs> if you're gonna get sure. piss on your chest and stuff like that. Sure, sure. If you're gonna put piss like in a bowl and go like, oh, hee, oh, hee, oh, right. hee. like that's fine, man. That's a yeah. Wednesday for some people. Yeah, sure, but sure. it's putting it in your nose. I think it was more the nose thing. That was the yeah. thing that got me. I'm surprised yeah. he doesn't actually just do it up his tush because technically that would be more absorbent. I think if he really does he's care. not gay. <laughs> okay, first of all, I actually believe that guy probably has some. He, he, I'm sure he has some ideas. Can you imagine, like, who does that guy call weird? Like, because you, everyone just has those people where it's like, I don't us. know about those guys. Yeah, he, he thinks he, us who don't walk around drinking our piss all day <laughs> long are strange. Right. He thinks I'm weird. Yeah, well, he probably thinks this guy's weird in this video. Okay. This guy we played before, but he's trying to get a happy Halloween from him. Konnichiwa, mina-san. Watashi no namai, kuma-chan desh. Kuma-chan desh. You imagine what this guy fucking smells like. I'm certain he's very nice. He smells like Eddie. Eddie smells like Old Spice and ham. Yeah, Eddie showers. I don't see this guy showering. Morning musume. Wa, desh yo. Ne. Ah, is it Katie. remotely close to Japanese? I don't know. I don't he might. He might have tried. He might have written it down phonetically. Sabrina, I don't know if I've shown this one. I know that's a word. Kawaii. I know kawaii. Yeah. Thank you. you Ooh, baby. As far as many of the people that we've seen on that show, that is just an okay. Now he's holding toilet paper. I forgot. Relax, it's just comedy. Relax, it's just comedy. It's relax, it's just comedy. Now I remember remember because I forgot to relax. That it was just comedy. I'm not. I'm. I'm relaxed now. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, for a while, I thought we had just met the president of Japan. (laughs) (laughs) But now that I know that it's comedy, (laughs) do they they have a they have a president? I yeah, so. I think they're uh, a prime minister or something. Shinjo Abe? Abe. Wow. Yeah. Abe. They're, uh, they don't have an... When did they have an emperor? Is that back before we fucking... That was... WW2. We yeah. took him down. Yeah, that was way long ago. That was a while, while, <laughs> back. while back. Yeah, I remember Jojo. when we did that. You pretty proud of that, huh, Jigsaw? <laughs> we Jigsaw, fucking got your... him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> what a fucking oh, video Jigsaw. was this? I can't see anything. It's so hot in this. All right, what's next? The one thing with the Halloween costume. <laughs> oh yeah, this is important for everybody to remember that the Crypt Keeper did a rap. To dance to death. All you have to do is come to the Crypt Keeper's party. A monster bash, if you will. Come on down. They still have an emperor. Man, I like Crypt Keeper, but I don't like his rap. This is the Keeper, where I have a tasty treat. Inviting you all to a feast. Only the best of fiends can come. We'll have skeletons of fun. So come on down to the Keeper's Zoo. I'm sure it will get grave reviews beyond time if you can. But this is the Crypt Jam. He 
know what? It's not bad. I like it. It's better than I thought it would be. He's at least not trying to be like, he's staying crypt keeper. Yeah. That's all you can be, man. He's the crypt keeper. A lot of people say better than a lot of rappers these days. Yeah. You know what? I think it's okay. I think we're definitely going with okay. When you think about all the different novelty raps that have been done over the years, this is one of the best. Honestly, you know better what I want? Rodney. We are the new novelty song. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're, they're all on YouTube. Listen to me. Here we go now. That was a great episode. Let John Lovitz come out. But like, why is it someone made like a new monster man? Yeah, I think they maybe try and maybe people ban it and make fun of them and then they don't. Yeah, I guess. It's hard to really stay in the core of being purely spooky. and Nobody cares about mummies anymore and stuff no. like yeah. that. I mean, and Bobby, because that's the thing, after Monster Mash, Bobby Pickett did record an entire album of monster-themed songs. They weren't great. Oh. Really, he just had the one. But, you know, he wrote Monster Mash in, I think, about, I think he said he wrote it in 45 minutes. Wow. Damn. I mean, hey. He really focused on that. Yeah, someone's saying this does feel like a song that you lose your virginity to. Like, it's it playing in another room, like, loudly in another room while you're, like, squeaking at a party. Yeah. Okay, well, it seems like unless you're getting tortured, it's a really fun part. Honestly, I kind of like the little hat on him. Yeah, I do too. He looks good. He's got the easy e glasses on. Very fun. Didn't uh, Dre do a whole album on Vampire? Did, he produced one song about uh, Dracula, I think, which I found during our Beastie Boys series. It was actually very common for rappers to rap about horror stuff. Um, and that's oh, my, uh, there's a lot of really fun ones from like old New York stuff that's about like, you know, they're just talking about werewolves and Dracula for like 15 minutes straight with no breaks. It's awesome. I love it. I was just uh, on my one of my um, like some Halloween playlist I was playing or whatever. They had the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street rap by Ooh. Fresh Prince. Nightmare on My Street. I listened yes. to that like two weeks ago. I fucked. I, I, that was, you know, that was a uh, the first LP, the first record that I ever owned. Oh. I bought it. I bought specifically for that song. I bought it from Walmart in like 1987 or something. It's fucking awesome. It's not a Very bad cool. beat. Like the, fr- no. the the Kruger music actually is a really good like track to rap on top of. Will Smith wasn't bad back in the day. Take it from us, music experts. Hey, man, that uh, other guy's Jeff. name, his name was Jazzy. Jeff. And you can't, be Jeff. Born, you can't be a good musician unless you're born with a name like Jazzy or Mr. Maybe, Bass. Mr. <laughs> Bass, yeah. Oh, this Ron is my Bass. friend, Ronald Guitar. <laughs> that actually would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Absolutely. Ronnie Guitar? Yeah, Ronnie man, why not? Guitar, indeed. Well, I just feel like everything is going so well today. Is it? I'm loving the stream, and I love you guys. There we go. What did, oh, what did, what did you? Okay. What did you? What are you setting sure this up? Not sure why you said that. That. What do you? It sounded insanely insincere. No. You look. No, right. that's it. <laughs> We're not doing it. Well, because he was out. Because it's raining in L.A. Uh, it is okay. raining in L.A. It's weird right. out here. It's been weird all day. It's Jared awesome. Ran into traffic a couple of days ago. I'm still traumatized. Oh, all these he... cars got all mad at me because they're like, "We almost got into an accident." I'm like, "Well, you know, man, that's what happens when you drive." Have you anyway, thought about Jared removing called, like a, a ten car pileup? So, anyway. Have you thought about removing his feet? <laughs> <laughs> Some people are asking, oh, Crystal, so are you dying? They want to know if you're dying. No, I'm not dying. Okay, good. No, nope. it just sounds I mean, like you're. It just sounds like you're dying? tidying up your affairs. <laughs> no, I'm not giving away my truck or anything like that. I'm not giving away uh, all the dog shit I have to pick up every day. I'm not gonna give oh. that away. That'll be a big gift. Whoever gets the dog shit. Good. Uh, have you been saving it? You know I'm on my way out when. It's okay. Travis. <laughs> yeah. Travis Irvine's gonna get it. We know that for a fact because he's been thinking about it, even over in little tiny Ohio. Oh, oh, brand ambassador. Now. Uh, this next one's gonna not bring up the mood. Oh, okay. what are we about to see, Jigsaw? 
Do you want to play a game? I don't want to play a game. What happens when a deer is so hungry it'll do absolutely anything for food? Oh, no. It eats its own dick? It's just eating a fucking baby rabbit. Oh, oh yeah, that's this what is a do. deer eating a baby rabbit. Dog. You know, I'm so desensitized because I hung out with Eddie yesterday and he puts on Planet Earth. Um, you know, the documentary. Yes. I yeah. didn't realize that's mostly about like like big old like panthers eating little pigs. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's hard. That, I, I get hungry watching it, man. <laughs> I get fucking hungry little a, piggies running around waiting to be it. Half of that show is just other animals eating other animals. And then you look up and you're just like, there's another animal getting eaten. That's so I'm. No, I don't even. I don't even care anymore. There's something Circle about there's, there's something haunting. Do you so. remember we used to play that video of the horse eating the baby chick? Yeah, and that, yeah. It was a People cow so eating mad. a baby chick, and it was disturbing because you heard the squeak, crunch, the, and, and the you heard the, the squeak and the crunch. It was it, the reason why it was scary cow is gum. because the cow did it so casually. As and if, I just one note I want to do in the last video. If you play, if you go back to the last video real quick, if you don't mind, I want you to look at the other deer's reaction. So look at this. Huh. It's eaten, right? It's playing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's eaten. Like, you know, look at this. Watch this. Look at over here. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Larry? It's just chewing. I mean, they got to eat. He's taking his sweet little time with it. Apparently, you can't make cats vegan. No, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't That's make dogs said. vegan either. Well, you can make a dog vegan, but you cats will not be vegan. Yeah, because no, a die. dog in your house can't eat unless you feed it. So, yeah, you can make it whatever you want. You can make it eat only green food. <gasps> Ooh, green poops. That'd Maybe be fun. Do that for St. Patrick's Day. But I will say that uh, I get green poops when I drink a lot of whiskey. Really? Have you ever had that after a long night yeah, of drinking? You've that, never had just like yeah. a full green shit? I'm, I remember. I remember Ireland. I remember I, what whatever that was that that, cre that we created inside of us. I think I once had a green. A couple of times I had a green shit. Sometimes I'll have a shit that's like so brown that it appears to be green. Mm. Hmm. I suppose they're on the spectrum. They're close to each other, I guess. Forests and all that. Like right? I mean, I don't like know. Mossy. I feel like the, the human body. The, you're looking for the word mossy. You have mossy shits. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I if I were to put a color shit. palette against them, because, you know, when you're trying to choose, like, you know, like, color for the outside of your house, they get all the little squares on it, mm -hmm. all the fucking colors and stuff, and, like, my shit color would be between the green and the brown. And brown. between green and the brown, it's also this weird kid's tribute to Serge Gainsbourg for some reason. Look at this. Serge Gainsbourg? Who's that? Serge French Gainsbourg, per the French, French pervert. Oh. But look at these kids. This is on television. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> That's him. He's disturbed. But it's like a tribute to him. Smoking. He's very disturbed at this. You think he's emotional? Yeah, how touching this is. <laughs> it is. In Gainsbourg. Serge Gainsbourg. He sang a lot of very sexy French songs for like years and years and years yeah. and years. He did, like a, he did a sexy album with his daughter. Yeah. So him and his daughter did this album that was like had a lot of sensuality. Did in they have it. sex with each other in real life? Is that? I don't think so. Why well, they're French. A... You know, the French are weird about that type of stuff. But he's just a pervert because. Well, it's just his general feel. Like, I wouldn't say he's a, he's not like a criminal pervert. He's uh, just got the pervert vibe. Okay. He's, he's got the vibe. He was like, a, I think the term you're looking for is libertine. Ah. Oh. He was a libertine. And mm. so, he, I, but I may, I mean, who knows? I'm certain we're going to get a wall of people saying, like, all the crimes he was guilty of. I mean, I don't know. I just <laughs> I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I haven't looked into Serge Gainsbourg's life. It's just you just get a pervert vibe. From him, from his songs, just okay. generally everything that he. But yeah, and then his daughter was an, an antichrist. That's right, Sarah oh. Jane. His daughter was antichrist. She did the fucking um, not to not to spoil it, but she cut her own clit off in that scene, and it's fucking yeah. ball or it's fucking cool. pretty sweet. She smashes ball. Willem Dafoe's cock with that log, which is yeah, pretty fucking the... great. Wow. But yeah, they had like what a, a it's like an album mean? where he was like, you maybe even look up the cover to that album if you want to the the Serge Gainsbourg. Uh, that cover album where she like Serge. sitting on his knee. She's yeah. like sitting on his knee, and it's very much um yeah. Fernando just put up "You Are Live" just to make sure that I remember that I was describing <laughs> this as we were live on the show. 
Gainsbourg. Oh, yeah, sure. And then Serge Gainsbourg. Serge. That's from uh, Beverly Hills. Three. And she was also a nymphomaniac. And nymphomaniac was one of the worst. Uh, Charlotte Gainsbourg was also a nymphomaniac. And Charlotte Gainsbourg, that movie was, I think, the most uncomfortable I've ever seen seeing a movie alone in a theater. Mm. Yeah, that movie was strange. Okay. Oh, <laughs> interestingly enough, Charlotte Lucy Gainsbourg, born July 21st, 1971. Mm. I'm exactly 10 years younger than her. Ooh. Isn't Fantastic. that something? I'm looking Isn't to see that... if she was ever sexually assaulted by her father. Uh, no. Personal life. Let's see here. They're um, French. They're different. They they're got a different. different. They got a whole different thing going on. And they just oh, have. They're cerebral, just horny. She, she had a cerebral hemorrhage in 2007. She was experiencing headaches since a water skiing accident. That's very I mean, scary. Yeah, that, mean, you're talking we... about one of my worst fears. Yeah. Yep. She's fine. She's alive. So don't I'm, worry about it. I mean, you Holy do. Hell, uh... lot, she was in the final. She was in the city of your final. Oh, not that's not Final Destination. Melancholia. Anyway, marry her, wow, Ben. That's what people are saying. Ariana said, marry her. <laughs> You got to do with her, Kissel. In 2016, she was in a movie that was just called The Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, it's going to be a long movie. Um, okay. All right. Now, guys, let's take a look. Let's, look at, let's see what we got here. Because I just want to do another movie. celebration of the fucking Hellraiser. <laughs> That's a wrap. Also, this woman, she was in another movie called My Dog Stupid. Ah. So anyway, oh. her, 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 the Jews and My Dog Stupid. What a weird couple of films. Honestly, I'm just glad they're bringing back Shrek for the Jews. You know, All he's right. Jewish. There you go. Nailed what do you have for me, man? What do you have for me? I'm just here. I got a mask on. You know what I mean? No, you're, you're great. demonic and evil. I mean, you have cancer, too, which we don't want to tell you, but that's what happens. It's Jigsaw. Although the, the doll does not. No one the dresses doll does as not. actual Jigsaw. Or no one dresses. What's the, I don't even know the name. John? Is that the name of the guy? I don't remember the name of the actual no killer. dresses as him. They always dress as the Jigsaw. Maybe he gets jealous. I yeah. don't remember. I think it's John. Is it John? I think it's just John. John. John dies of cancer. Oh. Huh. Speaking of John, <laughs> I was looking at the 20 most scandalous moments of uh, Serge Gainsbourg's life, and I noticed... They just identified a new victim of John Wayne Gacy. What? Yeah. Who? Just today, this guy named Another Francis one? Wayne Alexander, North Carolina man who moved to Chicago, 21 or 22, when Gacy killed them. He's one oh. of the final, what are they, final six? Oh, my well, gosh. I thought that his, uh, his final victim would be Party Clowns. Party Clowns, indeed. <laughs> you, you can't see my you. mugging. <laughs> no, you can't see the mugging. It's difficult. Scary. It's Very difficult. Scary. Kramer is the guy's name. Kramer? Is it Bob? Kramer? John Kramer? Francis, it's know. Francis Alexander. Oh, that's okay. the name of the guy that is control of Jigsaw. No, that's the name of the new victim of, the John, new victim Wayne of John Wayne Gacy. Oh, I see. Now that's right. how it is. Okay. I forget what this. Oh. Here we go. This is the worst TV credit sequence I've ever seen in my life, but it's got a secret little uh, last podcast uh, Easter egg. Oh, Hi, baby! Ferris Bueller! From the Ferris Bueller television show. Huh. Bueller. Wait for it. Oh, boy. Beautiful. Jennifer Beautiful. Aniston, that's a big get. Back in the day, back when she was like fifth billing. Amy Dolans, everybody loved her. The John Kramer was the name of the guy. Judith Payham, love her. Do you remember the porn star named Christine Rose? She was hot. That wasn't her though. Bueller. Wait a second. Wait, go back. We're not going to talk. We missed it. <laughs> what did we possibly what was, miss? What was the... No, not the very top. No, no, no we're not the very top. all over again? No, that's what I did at the beginning of this, because it's, it's fucking Allie Mack's first show. Oh, she wasn't in the credits. 
She's not in the fucking crate. Maybe that's just in the thing. It's Allie Max for sure. I thought she was okay. in the <laughs> Damn it. I see what this guy said. Too. Didn't see anything. I have to like. Schlatter. Schlatter. Charlie Schlatter. Got him. No, I can't watch this that's again. Ferris. Ferris. Oh, he's, she's yeah. not in the crate. She's not in there. He was probably so confident. Charlie got Schlatter. This. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, Becky. I got to break up with you because. I don't know if you know. This is the biggest me. show of my life. I'm about to be my name is Richard Montalban Glickerstein, and everybody's going to know my name after Ferris Bueller, the TV show, comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, Nick Kroll did pass on Big Bang Theory to do the Geico Caveman show. So that's how that ah. goes. You don't know. Sometimes you make mistakes. You don't yeah. know what's going to go because he read the Big Bang Theory, and he's like, is this propaganda from a from an alter dimension fucking uh, fascist state? Let's yeah, play this video. I, I don't think wow. that this man exists anymore. No, he's the, he's the guy that played Ferris Bueller. Yeah. No, he's he's Go, still Jason, acting. This for you. you. Don't know me. You're about to. This is Chinigami fighting out of Lancaster, California, representing 360 Martial Arts in the Lab BJJ. Shout out to my girl Rachel. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> Street Beats, we got an MMA match for you. In this corner, oh. we have Detail. In this corner, we have Shinigami. He's the one on the yard. You see it right here. You want to touch gloves if you want to? I gotta go with the ninja. Fight! Remember your training. Do you do Remember your training. Whoa! Whoa! Did it? You should go back and watch it. Here, go back a little bit for that. Go back a little bit and watch that fucking kick again, dude. Watch it. But he tests it out. Holy oh, oh, shit! That's a big ass leg, dog. Huh? That's a fun day for these guys. And yeah. the nice thing is, they'll be friends after. We're gonna get a crap. Oh. oh. He's not knocked out. He's just knocked down. Nah, it's just a glass jar, right? Oh He's a double black belt in Kenpo. Shinigami. I was looking up Shinigami, man. Shinigami comes at you with that big ass leg, dog. And yeah. he fucking, you better watch he's out because when he days. sweeps, but he cleans up the whole goddamn living room, dog. Punch him right in the face. Five star wolf. There used to be a whole bunch Step of Step in the cage and I'm giving out work. Stuff. Satan's backyard. You ain't trying to get hurt. This is actually pretty sweet. This YouTube channel is actually pretty dope. Street Beats. I'm watch this. Yeah, it's called Street Beats. Street Beats. Cool. Fucking okay, sweet. That. You know what's about getting exercise, getting in there, learning respect. I might start. I have to start doing something physical because my back is broken. I think, like Batman. Missile. So I should start doing maybe jujitsu. Judo. Judo is gentle. Judo makes someone use. You have to use can't. their weight against them. They I come just at can't you. Walk into a place it's and see and Sean Hannity and Joe Rogan and I just be like, I can't. Dude, if they saw you, they would be, like, be so excited to fucking rebuild you. Yeah, <laughs> they would. If they saw you, they'd be like, that's I a whole aware. lot of clay. Maybe you I could am, be a Krav Maga guy. Yeah. That's just, that's small joint manipulation. No, yeah, I, I don't want to do that. When I was uh, in Los Angeles the last time, I was driving down Ventura, and I did see a lot of people very embarrassingly doing Krav Maga in front of a glass window. So... They looked like they were doing physical activity. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. Well, well, no, I know Sh Shabazz. I know judo is not essentially gentle, but you can learn how to do this. In this video. But no, I, but I'm just saying it would be maybe Kissel could get used to it, grab it and manipulate. <laughs> oh, my God. This is weird. Let's get it out of there. song
What's he trying to do here, B.I.? You gonna contact him there? Or... Oh, I see. He's gonna... Yeah, you gotta gotta get the contact out. It's hard, man. Might have broke off. So. It doesn't Might... seem like he's doing a good, good, good job. That's all going on in there, huh? <laughs> Good visor though, but his sun protection I have to say is much better. I don't know how he doesn't case, see. I honestly don't know how he's seeing anything. I don't think he's a he pillowcase. Well, okay. Well, maybe that's why he's doing such a bad job. Yeah, yeah. You do want to have. And, and she's. I maybe... have no explanation for this, by the way. And she might okay. not be telling him that he's doing a bad job because that's the thing. If someone's doing a bad job, you got to tell them they're doing a bad job. Otherwise, you they just keep doing it. You have to yeah. use your words. From a movie. No. Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, wait. I guess it's done now. Wait. No, it's not done. It is done. Oh, he has a gun. To oh, he had a gun ah, there. I think he yeah, was just squeezing her big, eyeballs. Uh, big to be honest. gun. Here, I'll look. I'll tell you what the name of it is. Yeah. So, but I have no clue what the hell it is. The name of it is Herman Kopp. Sapor sanguines, which means the taste of blood. Huh. Sapor sanguines. Sanguines. By Herman Kopp, but with a K, two P's, so it's cool. Huh. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. It's weird. When I when I type in Herman Kopp Sapor sanguines, the first thing that comes up is Pee Wee is uh, Paul Rubens getting arrested for public masturbation. Wow. Huh. <laughs> The oh, algorithm the just is an unbeatable. Alone. <laughs> I guess Herman caught, and then I don't know what it did with. Uh, I think it just it just ignored support sanguinis. Oh, also, guys, yeah, who's doing research today? I am. Okay, um, Schlatter, the actor. You know who he dated during the the, the filming of Ferris Bueller? Jennifer Aniston. Huh. Wow. Who is also in the show? This is the this is wow. the saddest IMDb I've ever seen. His personal life is this is a quote. This is it. Schlatt, Schlattler dated Jennifer Aniston in 1990 during the shooting shooting of Ferris Bueller's television series. He married Colleen Gunderson in '94, and they have two daughters and a son. Isn't that nice? So he's back. I mean, hey. technically, that's a boring Hollywood career, but it's a nice life. I mean, the dude is a. I mean, he's. Oh my God! He was in every, Police Academy. He was in Mission to Moscow. Yeah, this dude's worked. He's mm. he's booked like five job, five or six jobs a year every year since like nineteen eighty. That's a real actor. Yeah, that's a real actor. Real, actor. Yeah. real actors are the kind of guys that'll show up. They'll be in a Kirk Cameron movie. They'll be in yeah. another movie. They'll be. They'll do Ferris Bueller too. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll do all of this shit. Yeah, he oh, does that, a lot of voices now. 13 episodes total for Ferris Bueller did not take off. No. Whoa, it actually had episodes? It had 13? 13 episodes. Ooh. That's pretty yes. good. Yeah. He, I mean, honestly, yeah, in the late 80s, this guy was on a, he was, this guy was thought he was going to be unstoppable. But then I uh, mean, the 90s happened. The fact that he continued to work hey. is so important because honestly, when it comes down to it, it's not even just about always being a superstar. It's about being a working, performing Absolutely, and you know what he did? What after Ferris Bueller ended, he did f a full he did a full season of Fish Police, and that show was great. And, and you think about where we'd be if it wasn't for Fish Police. I didn't know. That. <laughs> How do you handcuff a fish? Uh, we just they didn't really did they broach that subject? They definitely put the handcuffs on the octopi. Oh, I remember they that, got that's easy. Handcuffs, yeah, that's easy. That's, you, have, you have a lot of handcuffs. You got to put a lot of they handcuffs can on them. Slip yeah. out of there though, pretty simple too. They're, wow, that's they're crazy. Kind of you know who was in that show? Ed Asner, Tim Ooh. Curry, Whoa. Hector Elizondo, Whoa. Buddy Hackett. Whoa. They paid those guys real money. Yeah. Those Frank guys got Elder. paid real money to show up for the day. John Ritter. Isn't that? Oh, cool? dead now. Well, a lot Phil of Hartman. Them are Each one. Well, All Ed Asner is dead. Phil is dead. And the whole um, cast is basically dead. No, but the other guy's alive. Alec Baldwin's a murderer. But we know yeah. that. Yeah, we know that. That's, you know, what are we going to do about that, yeah, right? What are we going to do about that? Do? I hope he comes back and does Trump for SNL. That'd be great. I hope he does. That's the he only roasts, way to fix it. He, he takes him down and roasts him. He really does. He Takes really him does. down a notch. 
Um, okay. <laughs> so I kind of want to go out on an emotional journey of what it's like to just oh, well. be considered a monster. And okay. I know Kissel understands what this is like, but I don't know if our audience completely knows what it's like to like when people view you as a monster, mm-hmm. you all got, you got a life, you got a life inside. No yeah. matter what anybody says, no matter how scary you appear, sure. you still have emotions and there's still, there's still a person there. Well, you're a puppet. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Puppet on a tricycle. Strikes in the goddamn shop. Oh. All right, let's watch this video. <laughs> That's sad. That's <laughs> sad. That's what happened to the last one. It's tricycles in the shop. So. Oh. This is Gork. Gork? Gork. 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 I tried to be perfect, but nothing was worth it. I don't believe it. As far as this genre goes, this is fine. I thought it'd be easy, but no one believes me. I'm not told the things I said. If you believe it's in myself, I say all the words that I You love John Lennon. I guess so. See? Think work's scary? Imagine. You can imagine there's no heaven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Waiting for that full band to chime in on the second verse. No, it's sad. You have fun. I'm gonna be the band, man. I want to fucking rock. Or not. Or go slow. Yeah. One of the two. Man, he doesn't want to booze anymore, man. Well, he's got a full sandwich. She broke up with him, dude. He's a monster. He can't even play with his squishy ball. It's hard, man. He didn't even finish his cereal. Thing of Playboy, and yeah, of course, she broke up with this nerd. Oh, he's, coming back now. he's walking his life, dude. Oh. So cow, man. That's pretty good. Graphics there. Oh, baby gave him a shadow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that Portland? We've been there. That's the Bigfoot Museum in Portland. Oh. Yes, yes, that is. If not, we do it. Well, wow, you weren't joking, uh, Henry. This is emotional stuff. Now he's hiking. I kind of have to see where this goes, to be honest. We have to. I mean, where does he just die? He keeps he walking, man. He's got to find your fucking... He's got to find himself, dog. Is he going to find another, like, chat? This monster? isn't Satan, guys. This is Gork. Oh, Gork. That's Gork. Oh, he's going to see... G-R-O-R-K. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought you said. Okay. Hello. Oh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll are perfect life. Well, what is Whoa, life? no, man. It's... Sex, drugs, and rock and roll go right, dude. That's a perfect life. Come Fucking on. go right, bro. Fortune and glory. Why can't you have fortune and glory in your perfect life? No, you got to choose one, bro. But then I would just have fortune and glory because that would make a perfect life. Oh, my God. Choose this one, is... bro. So, wait, this is like Christian messaging? No, man. It's personal messaging. He chose He's the perfect life. Perfect fucking life. He did. Throwing away oh, the like booze. Throw away the fucking no bottle, booze, dude. No more booze. And... Wow. Wow. Oh! 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 oh, shoot. It doesn't fucking he exist, bro. The booze. He should have gone with the booze and all the sex. It mm. doesn't fucking exist, bro. That's right. So remember that. Happy Thank Halloween. That's right. Happy Don't Halloween, stress everyone. the costume too much this year, but go out yeah. and do some bullshit and get Have hammered. Have fun. Have fun and give big candy if you can. Ooh, big candy. Yeah. That'd be good. I did. I would... actually, I did go to CVS and I bought like six big bags of candy. All Got right. to, bro. Got did. To. Did do that. Okay, Scare everyone. mailman this week. Thanks for watching. Hail yourselves, everyone. We'll be back next week.
See you fucking pieces of shit.